All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add animations. Okay, the animations I'm talking about are going to be animations with graphics. Okay, so let's say I added this little water feature here, but I want to add a fountain. You know that that is going um, while your game player is playing. Okay, the first thing you need to do be in event editing mode, and then double click. So I want to put the fountain right here. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to choose the graphic. And I think I chose the graphic and it was other two. And you know that you can animate. You can't animate everything, but you know you can animate things that are in a series, like a series of three. So if you look, the fire is in a series of three. This fountain's in a series of three. Um, these little, I guess, goblets are in a series of three. So I'm going to choose this fountain right here. And then the only other thing you need to change is by default it says walking animation. We're going to uncheck that and we're going to go and set stepping animation and directional fix. Just doing those two will allow you to have the animation. Now it doesn't look like much right now until we test play. And when I do, you can see after my batch text that I have a fountain that's animated now. Okay, So I'm going to quickly go through that again because I want to add fire right here. So I double click, I go through, I come down to flame. No, it wasn't flame. It was under other. So I'm going to add just a little fire right here. I'm going to choose one. And again, I just need to change it from stepping animation and directional fix apply and then you'll see that when I start this again you'll see that my fire is working and my fountain should be working so there's my fire and there's my fountain okay so this is adding it just adds a little bit more detail into your maps and that's what a game player is looking for hope this helps